G'day, Sea Dog here. Welcome to my channel, my high school jewelry students. Okay, so in our last video we showed you how to drill out this little setting for the gem. So this time we're going to show you how to set it. So we get a little gem, in this case it's a red one there. Pop him in, that's beautiful, it's nicely set. Um, so Mr. Claudie's done a great job of drilling it out, preparing it. Now, I'm just going to put a little red dot on the top there. One there, one there. You don't need to do this when you do yours, but just, just for the video. There's a bit of a docker's pen happening here. Um, it doesn't matter. That's, probably a bomber's that's, pen, a, that's a bomber's pen. All I was going to do was mark the four intersections there. So try using a docker's pen this time. That's better. So one there, one there, one there. So four corners opposite to each other. And we're going to start by rolling those four corners over the jam. And we're going to use a hammer, this one with a round end. And we're using the round end of the hammer just to roll it over. I'm just going to back this off so you can sort of see a bit clearer and then I'll go close in. So this, this hammer's got those two ends, we're using the round end. We're putting our finger on it to protect the gem. And just a light touch, just a light hammer. We don't want to hammer the gem because those, they're cubic zirconias, they are very, or, or glass, some of them, they're very, very brittle. And if you contact the gem, they'll just crack and it's then a mission to get it out and put a new one in. You can do it, but it's too hard. It's too much work for us. Okay, there, so we've done the two opposites there. I'm gonna do this one. Beautiful. And then we're gonna do this last one. All the time protecting the gem. Okay, now I can get my hands out the way and go in a bit. Hang on. Yep, that's pretty decent. And then we're just going to fill in. So we were using, the, did the opposites. Now we're just going around to fill in the little spaces between the opposites to get it fully rolled over that little gemstone. Again, um, I'm not contacting the gem. That's really important. It helps using the round end of the hammer because you're less likely to hit the gem. Um, when you use the round end. Now, that's pretty good, but it's not, well, there's still a couple more steps we've got to do. This hammer, we're not going really upright because if we do, we'll hit the gem. So then we're going to use this little brass rod thing that Mr. Courty or I will give you, and you just put it almost upright. Oh, I've got my hands in the way, it's pretty hard to show you without my hands being in the way, but that's nearly upright there, and just tapping all the way around. Okay, keeping that brass rod fully upright. Okay, I'm going to do this right-handed, which is not good for me, but we'll just do it like that, all the way around. actually pretty good and then there's one more step well, I'm actually pretty happy with that there's one little step now to finish off and that's using a particular little tool all we're doing is pressing the inside of what we hammered over it so just to tidy it up so it's a nice sharp tool yeah that's working and it's just pressing the inside over and you, you should see a nice shiny little line around the, the inside there. Just rubbing it right over onto the gem. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. Okay, now I found the one I actually wanted. This one here, so it's a really quite a pointed tool. That's better because I can get a more rubbing action. Beautiful. And that's actually quite smooth now in there. It's called burnishing. Nice rubbing action. All right, 
really happy with that. That's never coming out. Now, last thing. We're going to finish this off with a little bit of a sand um, with what we call a black wheel. This will do. This is one type of black wheel. It's, this is a cylinder shaped one. But there's another type which we can show you when it comes time to be doing them. Okay. And at this, the reason why these black wheels are good is that they don't damage the gem too much if you accidentally slip. We don't want to, but just in case, it does slip. That's taking the little marks from the hammer off without doing damage to our, um, to our ring. So it's just the part that we've hammered over we're sanding, just the little dents off. That was a nice job there, Mr. Christmas. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cody. So, Friday night when you go out to um, McDonald's by candlelight with your with your wife, you can present her with a, a nice uh, red gem set ring. Alright, that'll do for that video. Good on you guys, thanks for listening.